Pneumonia is an acute exudative inflammation secondary to airborne infection with bacteria, viruses or mycoplasma. Depending on the extent of lesion, pneumonia can be Pneumonia lobula, which is a lobe segment is affected. Second, pneumonia loba, which is an entire lobe is affected. Pneumonia bronchopneumonia, which is affect bronchial and adjacent alveoli. Lastly, pneumonia interstitial, which is inflammation affects the interstitial tissue, mainly the alveolar walls. We can see from the image, the alveolar sac of the normal lobes contains only A space. But in the pneumonia loba, the alveolar sac or alveolar space already filled with cellular infiltrate. The next image shows the lung tissue, shows obliteration of alveolar spaces by purple staining measures of inflammatory cell, which is mainly neutrophil with associated fibrin. This is the consolidation. Pneumococci characteristically in pairs, which is diplococci, multiply rapidly in the alveolar spaces and produce extensive edema. They incite an acute inflammatory response in which polymorphonuclear leukocyte and congestion are prominent. It is called red hepatization. As the inflammatory process progresses, macrophages replace the polymorphonuclear leukocyte and ingest debris. Morphonuclear leukocyte is a type of immune cell that has granules, which is small particles with enzymes that are released during infection, allergic reaction, and asthma. The examples are neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil. It is also called granular leukocyte, granulocyte, and PNN. In three of these pictures, vasodilation of blood vessels engorged with red blood cell is observed. In the image, margination of neutrophils along the endothelial of blood vessel can be observed too. Alveolar walls are thickened due to capillary congestion and edema.